we get hated on or we got hated on a lot more growing up. And I spoke English. We're fluent in English? Yeah. And that didn't gain us automatic acceptance into the, the Western that lexicon. That did not of shield a- us from discrimination and racist comments. Go back to China. That's a phrase that we are hearing more and more nowadays, whether it's in real life, through stories of friends, or viral online videos. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man. I witnessed two incidents this past weekend, one with my real eyes IRL, another one online. Let's just play the online clip from Richmond, Vancouver, Canada right now. So what are you? Are you a Canadian? Are you a Canadian? If you're saying you're Chinese, then you have to China. You're trying to disrespect for Andrew, long story short, this biker needs to use the restroom while he's bicycling around Richmond, Canada. He goes into the opening of a new Chinese dessert shop, but after he comes out of the bathroom, which they're very nice to let him use, he gets triggered by these menus because there's Chinese on the menus and it's like, hmm, do you consider yourself Chinese or Canadian? Because if you consider yourself Chinese and like to use the Chinese language and not English, then go back to China. Go back to China. Yeah, and this guy has actually been caught on video multiple times in the Vancouver area, obviously. Obviously, Richmond, heavily Chinese city. We're talking about one of the most Chinese cities in North America. Yeah. So for him to walk in here and start berating Chinese people for not being American or not speaking English as well, it really makes no sense. But anyways, David, what's what, what happened in real life? You saw a pack of kids who were biking in New York City. Yeah, they were biking in New York City against the bike lane, so they're going the wrong way. And there's a older Chinese man. He's... Uh, collecting cans he's like impoverished you know this right. is not the the job of a really rich person to collect cans he's walking up the bike lane and uh they have to swerve around him even though they're in the wrong and they go f you china f you china mm. f you china right to his face as they ride by you yeah. know a pack of kids and uh basically i got triggered by this because i saw it i almost turned back around to chase him but they were like a pack of kids 13 14 years old but they were white like you know maybe to be honest i think they were italian and you know i just kind of let it go and you know what I did I gave the old guy some money because I was just like this but seeing that second incident it triggered me to talk about the first incident because this is a growing sentiment in America of go back to China all right so we're gonna break down this situation hopefully this is a productive conversation uh please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pop boys uh David I never hear people say go back to Korea go back to Vietnam go back to Egypt go back to Nigeria go back to Jamaica go back to Peru, I never hear it. It's only go back to China. Yeah, maybe I've heard some people say go back to Mexico in more uh, like in okay, Texas yeah, and yeah, Arizona yeah. a little bit. But yeah, the two ones you hear the most are go back to Mexico and go back to China. Definitely go back to China. I never even hear go back to Russia. Yeah, somebody said, uh, that this is, and we got to get in the internet comments. Somebody said, oh yeah, I'm just going to shop there. It's better than trying to find this guy, Peter Hansen, and attack him because that's not really how Canadians are. Let's just go to this Hei Lao San and try to support it. Yeah, I mean, it's very American to want to like, set out a manhunt and find and this attack guy. this Peter yeah. or, 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 or find and talk to him and right slap him around or whatever you guys want to do to him obviously I think he needs to get disciplined somehow because he has a history of doing this although he hasn't gotten violent with people but he's just like being real he's yeah. harassing people you I know? think it's so 50 50 I think it's situational I guess you would say, Andrew, by me not chasing those kids down and like fighting them all, even though there's certainly some groups of guys or races that certainly would be more inclined to do that than I was, um, I gave the guy money. Did I take this Canadian route? I, I mean, I think everybody has to make a calculation and everybody picks their fights. I think helping out the old man, I think that was cool. And yeah, I mean, you're... I don't know if you're Batman. I mean, those like three teenagers are riding super right, fast right, right. on the bike. What are you going to do? Blah, 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 blah. I think, I think maybe, I, I think may aggressively yelling at them. Maybe I don't know. Who yeah, knows, honestly, by you the time it decision. happened and it processed in my mind that they were saying "f you, China" to the guy, I didn't even know what was going on. Um, somebody say, let's be honest. It's not about having too many weird languages around, like this guy Peter Hansen says. It's actually just a code for hating somebody different who looks different from a different culture. Yeah, and I think that it's that. And also, people know that they can talk crap to, like, Chinese people, and Chinese are not going to do anything. So right. this is one of the issues that, obviously, within the Chinese community or Asian community at, uh, at lar- um, in general, we talk about because we're like, listen, if we, we are kind of letting people do this to us by not being aggressive back, but 
by being aggressive back, of course. There, there's a risk. other host of uh, pros and cons yeah, to that. And you have to be prepared for that, and people have to get be willing to get hurt and everything like that. So we all understand that that's, of course, there, there's some of that reason involved. Yeah, but it's cultural. I do think Asians are more Confucian. Whether you want to say it's docile pacifist or just more civilized, I'll, they're just way less likely to escalate to hardcore street violence I, uh, based off verbal I'll confrontations. I'll tell you this, man. He's not walking into an Arab restaurant talking like He's that. He's not going to walk into a Jamaican spot and do no that way. for sure. Nope. He was Peter Hansen is not going to do that. Somebody uh, has a moderate Republican opinion on this and someone goes, well, th- what he did was bad, but it is fair to ask everybody to learn the host country's language fluently and it is also possible that he has a bone to pick with the Chinese because they took over Richmond, Canada and he might feel marginalized as an English speaker or priced out of the housing market so he's just simply expressing his qualms with the Chinese community. First of all, if you got a problem with the rich Chinese immigrants buying up too much real estate, your qualm is not with the dessert shop workers. Right. Your qualm should be with the government what? of your city and your municipality that is allowing people to buy up a lot of houses. Right, right. right. And <laughs> even in a messed in the- up way, I'm not saying that he should do that. Talk to the fob and the Ferrari with like the 17 properties, right? I, I, I don't I, know. I suppose, yeah, or at least your real estate agent or who, who's, who's selling right, all the houses. Right, right. So I guess, I guess, first of all, it's a misdirected hate. Also, I think that, I think there is some logic in like immigrants obviously moving to a country and making an effort to learn English, especially like in America, right? right. I, I get that. And I think that there should be some effort involved, but I also think as a native English speaker, that's not going to stop people from hating on you. Because, David, we get hated on, or we got hated on a lot more growing up, and I spoke English. We're fluent in English? Yeah. And that didn't gain us automatic acceptance into the, the Western that lexicon? That did not of shield a- us from discrimination and racist comments. Yeah. Somebody also said, well, if you're telling everybody to speak English fluently in their host country, what about Americans that travel abroad to Tulum or Mexico City or Japan, Tokyo, Osaka, and they don't speak English? Because a lot of Americans that are traveling abroad, obviously, because English sort of became this global lingua franca, they have that expectation that everybody's going to cater to them and them not cater to other people. That's a good point. It has to do with English and entitlement and the global dominance of the English culture. Somebody's saying everybody's an immigrant in the new world countries. This guy, Peter Hansen, has got a Dutch last name. Why doesn't he go back to the Netherlands if he's telling people to go back to China? Is this a good argument? I actually think logically it is, but I noticed that a lot of people who say racist things towards uh, Asians or Latinos or whoever else is coming into America don't buy this one. Yeah, it's not a bad comeback because there's no way unless you're Native American that you don't have some immigrant blood. Even in, like six, seven generations back, in right? In your lineage right now here's the thing the truth is for european immigrants to assimilate into american culture it's way easier because it's more like european culture and because the people who settled america were from europe so even if you're belgian or if you're from sweden right and you're white person you come to america and and the culture is different and you're like oh yeah like i don't really like relate to some of this but like visually you look white and you look american and then obviously it's still a western culture so It's easier to adapt. And a lot of Asians, it's true. They come from a very, very different place. Yeah, for sure. And 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 one thing I noticed, this is kind of an interesting aside, Andrew, is that like Anglo-adjacent countries, sometimes they got discriminated against for not being true Anglos when they came to America, but then they sort of adopt racism against groups that are even further away from like the Anglo core of America than they were. You know what I mean? Like Irish or Italians... By the way, got a lot of good Irish and Italian friends. I'm just saying that sometimes they were discriminated against when they came like 100 years ago or 150 years ago, and then they almost can adopt that same vibe to people who are even further from the the, the rings of the tree, right? It is the food chain, the pecking order, if you will. You and pass this ca- it down. Yeah, and this kind of comes back to a very interesting sentiment that I've heard increasingly in the Asian community. We got to bring the Asian gangs back because the Asian gangs, they do street violence. Everybody else is trying to do street violence or have all these sideways comments at us. They wouldn't say that if the street gangs were prevalent again hanging out in the corners all right guys i understand the feeling but with more asian gangs there's also like other things that come along with that not just protection from other people you know what i mean like sometimes people right, have it could to be pay. bad on on the inter no, in the you have community. to pay the asian gangs to protect your business and you get extorted all this other stuff guys anyways you guys know like that there's stuff involved all right? i think ultimately a much much better solution is your average citizen becomes more aware and more vigilant themselves and i'm not telling people to become immediately more violent but just like have think about what you would do 
more. Uh, don't live in a dream world. Don't be try yeah. to live life like an NPC. Somebody said this guy is gonna get beat up or should get beat up, especially if he was in America doing this. But in Canada, they're just gonna let him do it another thirty five times. You know, I I think unfortunately the truth is there's definitely a lot of places he could have done this in America. Like it, I I don't know if he's getting beat up in the six two six necessarily. Depending on what he does. It's more likely, though. Yeah, it's more likely, but I think at the end of the day, it's kind of uh, unfortunate to say, but yeah, it's kind of like this passive Chinese culture. I don't want to say culture, but it's a mindset that maybe comes and stems from the culture. Yeah, you know? there, like definitely physical confrontation is not one. For some people, it's not even it's on the it's table. It's not the first thing that Chinese people are trying to do. You know, even there, there are some uh, younger dudes that were in that video that work at that restaurant. They're not they, they like... Were, they were like there to protect... But they, you, I thought they could, could, yeah, obviously some people were like, oh, they should have even did more. It's tough to say, man. Should've Everybody comes could've. from a different set of experiences, different set of coaching, different reps they've seen in their life. Um, obviously, there is an archetype that Asians are very passive, particularly Chinese people, even within the Asians, maybe the most passive. Somebody said, why do you even go to a Chinese dessert shop if you wanted someone fluent in English, huh? Why did he just ride his bike there and ask to use their bathroom if he was going to walk outside, get mad at the menu, and then berate them and tell them all to go back to China? Well, you know... I just know that those dessert shops have really clean toilets, and I just wanted a clean toilet. But I didn't want any of that sticky ball mango sago dessert with two juices on it. I don't like it's that It's a cute stuff. menu. Yeah, definitely very not Western looking, though, I guess, to, to, to understand where he's coming from. I just from. think it's Do weird to be in Richmond, Vancouver, of all places. Richmond's like one of the most Chinese cities in North America. Yeah. Obviously, this dude is racist. He's probably kind of crazy. He's at the end, nearing, I guess, the end of his days. So he's probably just like, well, well I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind. I got to let it out. My and then what he, what he wanted to let out was racist feelings. My therapist told me to speak my mind. Um, long story short, Andrew, do you think he's like a 10 out of 10 representation of how a lot of po possibly older people are feeling in America at a four out of 10 level, like they're four out of 10, he's the 11 out of 10 version. Is it representing a strain of thought or is this guy just off his rocker? No, nah, man, I mean, it's definitely common, man. It's out there between the media portrayal, everything that people see from the media of just, Ch China's a really big country. It's very complicated. Right. There are things that they do that a lot of people don't like. There's things that they do that everybody needs and likes. So it's very complicated. Being Chinese is complicated right now. And the truth is we are going to hear about this more and more. Right. Like, and you have to prepare yourself that it might happen. Hopefully it's not the physical kind. Hopefully it's not a bad violence. Right, right. Cause there's kind of two sides to this. Uh, a lot of the stuff we were talking about during COVID was like hardcore street violence. This is more like uh, microaggressions or like uh, racism to your face yeah. verbally. Yeah. So I think prepare yourself for that because you can't change how people view yourself or what type of media they're consuming. We have no control over right. that right now. Or how they're ingesting it, how they're uh, uh, feeling, letting it marinate within themselves yeah. and how they're letting it out. I do think, you know, I guess a lot of Chinese people or Asian people can ask themselves, like, I guess, is there anything that we can do more of within reason that could help the interactions we have with people? Not saying that people are not going to be uh, irrationally racist against us. That's definitely going to happen. People are going to have their thoughts about us. But I guess just a question is, how are you going to prepare for this? And what is your protocol? And what are you going to do when someone says something? And two, is there anything that as immigrants you can do differently? Yeah. Uh, I think one of the most important things you could do is kind of... Uh, like, if you think about it, it might make you uncomfortable at first, but ultimately you ought to arrive at a point where you can be at peace with it. Like, right. I always kind of feel like, you know, it, there's certain things, like you said, you can't change it, but you don't have to let those things be top of I, mind all I, day long. I really found that practicing martial arts, I think, is huge. Mm. I think it's huge. I'm not saying go fight everybody. I'm not saying that makes you a lethal weapon, that you should be fighting people way bigger than you, but it just makes you feel more confident and comfortable feeling like you can handle situations better and actually uh, maybe maybe it makes you want to fight less oh, actually I'll tell you what not yeah. to do is pass this anger on down the down the line though yeah like we it got, yeah. we gotta have it stop with us and we can't let it fester I don't know how it festers within Asians I, I typically think like online comments more like online rage is realistic there, there's where Asian on Asian stuff yeah maybe yeah. we Asian just can't Americans let it we, we gotta we gotta 
think about it. For sure, everybody's going to come up with a different, you know, methodology. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Are these go back to China, you know, sort of things that are stoked by geopolitical things or media-related things going to continue? What do you plan to do to deal with it? And what are the ones that you've seen? Keep it simple in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.